Hey folks, Dan Johnston with St. Croix Rod Company here, down here in April on Lake of the Ozarks with my good buddy, Steve Seifert. Steve is uh, the man on what we're gonna do today, dock shooting for crappies, and it's an absolute blast. You folks are gonna have a ride. Steve, you ready to go do this? Let's go have some fun, this'll be great. Check this out, you're gonna enjoy it. There he is, there he is. Man, I tell you, that is just Nothing short of fun. Goodness. Hey, right buddy. now, this end of the lake are full of blacks or all that side. Nothing of short of fun. Perfect eaters. Isn't that awesome? You know, when you get a lake like this, if you pan around here, there are so many docks, I mean thousands of them, that these fish have their choice on where they want to hang up, and you can't just go cast and catch them everywhere. And right now, in this specific situation, they're in these darkest holes. You can see where we're shooting these things. And that's what's rewarding about it, because if you find it, it's a repeatable pattern. You can keep doing it, not necessarily all over the lake, but look for water color, depth in front of the dock, and the right amount of shade. That's what we wanted. Oh! oh <laughs> that line jumped a foot. I love it. I love it. Ooh, that's that good. was a pretty good fish here. That was like. fun. He'll Steve, he make a good sandwich. Steve, how long have you been doing this? Uh, ten years. Yeah. Ten years. And how long have you been crappie fishing Lake Ozarks? Oh, 30, 40 years. Because when I first came down here, Steve and his son introduced me to dock shooting, and I'm not kidding you. I've fished all over the country. Fishing's been one of my big passions in my life. This is one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life. It's uh, it's I, it's so much fun. It's unbelievable. When we're dock shooting, a couple things that are really important. There's an amount of line that you want out that seems to be a sweet spot. And we're all a little different, but I like it for the average shot, just a little short of the stripper guide right in this area. And you also see, in terms of how much line I've got out, but you also see how I'm holding this jig, and this is absolutely critical. Don't grab it by the bend of the hook, and certainly don't grab it like this. You wanna grab it like that, okay? And when you load this rod, basically what it is, is it's left hand under right hand. But when I let this thing go, I'm actually gonna elevate that rod tip. And when you do that, it gets that line going more horizontal. And that's how we're getting way, way under there. If you don't do that, that jig tends to crash into the water and it'll skip up and it'll wrap around whatever's under there. I mean, watch how aggressive I'm gonna lift this tip if I wanna go way back there. See that? And it never touches the water and it really works. And if you don't do that, it just lays weird. The jig crashes down. See how I, get, I, I gave that a little tiny, instead of just reeling it in, gave it a little tiny kick. That's a good one. And uh, every once in a while, they're following that thing. They're following it in, I think. And if you take the rod tip and just give it a little kick, I'm telling you, you can trigger that bite because I dead retrieved that in and I paused and I kicked it and she, she whacked it. Oh, it's a dandy, Steve-O. Yeah, it feels good. You bet. Oh yeah, big white. Boy, that's a good one, dude. Wow, yeah. nice work. Let's talk about this rod and reel real big quick. Big whitey. At the St. Croix Avid X is what we're using for a couple reasons. I like the 6.9 medium light extra fast. Um, I'm about six foot one. I'm standing on top of the boat, and I can skip it, and I can shoot it. Steve, which one do you like? I like the six six. Mm -hmm. I really do. It's uh, I, uh, to me, it's more. I, I can shoot it better. I haven't had as much experience with the six nine, but I really like the six six. Well, obviously, it works for you, huh? Oh yeah, it's nice. You know, Not bad. It's good white there. Another thing, folks. This is the Daiwa Tatula, and if you notice, this is a three thousand size reel. And there's a couple reasons I like this. Daiwa is renowned for drags. Secondly. The 3,000 sounds a little big for this rod, but the reason I like it is the size of that spool. That's what I like about them too. I, I like the 3,000 size. It's just, the line comes off it so well, and you can get way back in underneath these docks. But these rods too, these the guides on these things, those are, I think it means everything. There's more guides on them than the average rod, and they're smaller. And I think it makes us real accurate. So I haven't found anything that's even close to them. Well, we're blessed to have you in the St. Croix family, my friend. I love it. Let's go catch another one. Let's do it. Now bite it. Get your line level like that in there. That's really good. Man. 
There he is. He was in there, all right, Steve-O. Get him? Good oh, one. Oh, yeah, there he is. Oh, that's a good one. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that uh, solid little linebacker. That's a good one there. Oh, yeah. Nice hey, fish. bud. That's one you like to see. Man. Now, look at the light colors. This fish just moved in. That's what that means. This fish has been living deep, probably suspended over 50, 60 foot of water. And now she just moved in here to set up. And as she stays in here, she'll get darker and darker. Yeah, I was gonna say, that looked good there. That's a good one. <laughs> oh, it's so look at that, come out of that dock like that. That's so cool. Yeah. Steve, I'll tell you, man, this has been an absolute blast. We've had such a great time. It is April, Lake of the Ozarks. I can't thank you enough it's for just, teaching me how to do this, it man. It is fun, man. And most important, being, becoming a good friend of mine. Yeah, Folks, is... Lake of the Ozarks dock shooting, it's special, it's unique, and it's absolutely awesome. Thanks for joining us in the boat, and thanks for watching Midwest Outdoors.